over the last couple of months, we've really started to take the work vertical. So we've got about three quarters of the steel of the building is now up, less the roof structure, and we're moving towards elevated slab pours. We've poured out the first floor, and we're moving on to pour the second floor under prep right now. Up next, we'll be infilling the section you see right behind us with steel up to the fourth floor. We'll start on the roof and bring the roof structure around, and then we're gonna continue up with the slab pours, and ultimately that releases all of our interior work to proceed starting in the basement here in about a month. A little over a week or so ago, we brought a host of folks from the county's team as well as the sheriff's department's team to walk through the space that ultimately they're gonna be housed in here in the future. It was exciting to walk them through the space that's ultimately gonna be theirs and show them what the progress has been from the below grade sense that you really can't see from across the street. All the work that we've been doing over the last six months that you physically can't see unless you walk the site. So it was cool to see the look on their faces, to see all of the work that's going in and ultimately have some discussions about uh, what's coming next for us. So very exciting time. Next for residents here in Cabarrus County and in Concord specifically, we're going to be continuing our storm work and infrastructure work around the Corbin Avenue and the church side of our site. So that work is going to proceed to tie in the storm and other infrastructure that we'll need. So we're going to continue with some intermittent road closures to facilitate that work and we hope everybody will be patient as we move forward with that.